Hey guys, what's up? I'm Felipe from Cyberbikes and I'm gonna show you a very interesting hub motor. This motor uses metal planetary gears. What does that mean? Check this out. Okay, so this is a planetary system in which we have, oh, put in here, okay. Which we have the pinion, okay, the pinion the, the gears, they have an angle. They are like helical, helical, helicoil gears. Uh, they improve torque transmission and they uh, are more quiet, silent than standard bevel 90 degrees gears. Uh, however, they create uh, axial force Okay, so force in in the direction of the axle, which which means the bearings, uh, the the bearings that are on the sides of the motor, you know, one on each side of the wheel. Well, they have to be stronger bearings. You can see this is a big bearing. This is a sixty zero three strong bearing. This one a little bit smaller, 6202. Uh, but you need stronger bearings on the lead to support this type of gear, you know, to su support this type of helical gear. And uh, it's common to find uh, an upgrade in the, in the market, in the aftermarket, in which you can transform your nylon gears into metal gears. Um, and sometimes you can even uh, make them like helical gears like this kit is. Uh, so what happens here? You can see this is a metal gear on the outside, but on the inside, we have a type of filling of, uh, of PU polyurethane. Um, why? Plastic gears, they require less lubricant and they generate less heat, less friction. So by the time that you install metal gears in your motor, uh, you have to lubricate it constantly and the motor will sound like eh, noisy. We will be, we'll have a more uh, uh, gear sound on the motor. Uh, the advantage of nylon is that you don't need that much lubricate, it's more silent um, and uh, uh, the, the drawback is that the nylon gears, they break down quicker, sooner than metal gears, you know. Uh, but this system is very interesting in which they blend metal and uh, nylon. So in the center, where we have a, a higher contact point and friction, they keep plastic, poly, we, we say polymer, and uh, on the on the sides they keep metal, just to keep the integrity, the structure. Uh, so this is very interesting. We have uh, helical gears in this hub motor with a mix of metal and plastic, uh, and we have reinforced uh, lead bearings uh, to support that creation of ax axial force. You know. So yeah, this is a very interesting motor. This motor is rated to 1500 watts at 52 volts. And in my opinion, it justifies having helical gears and, and metal gears, this sort of metal and plastic gears um, on this uh, clutch system. And if you run like 500 watts, if you have a geared 500 watts motor, uh, standard polymer plastic gears with straight teeth should be more than enough to handle all the, the load. Uh, but in this case, we have three times that amount of power, which in my opinion, justify the use of uh, helical gears and also the bigger uh, lead bearings on each side. But yeah, this is the tip. Ah, just one another point. Like this axle has two keys, you know, one key slot here and another key slot on the other side. 
so as I said, 500 watts motors uh, use standard gears, you know, and usually we have only one key. This motor will have two keys on the axle, uh, and the uh, uh, let's say a more complex construction helical uh, gear, uh, planetary system with helical gear um, to bear all the 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 amount of power, torque, uh, and rotation that pass through this axle and is transferred from the motor to the wheel and making everything spin. All right, so. This is the, the video of today. If you have any suggestions, leave us a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment, leave us a thumbs up, leave your suggestions in the channel, in the comments below. And thank you very much. See you next time.